back, welcome back. <coughs> Excuse me. My friends, we joined by Shadi and Leonardo. Uh, yeah. And these young folks are involved oh, yeah, in a yeah, project. Yeah. Huh? She said, yeah, yeah, big up. <laughs> man like, <laughs> it's a big up man like Scarface. <laughs> and man like Fracture and the mess. <laughs> these youngsters are involved in a community project. Um, they are communication students. Yes. yes. And they've decided to do this community project in a community, of course. Duh, it's a community project. Yeah. Where they intend to set up and install a library at mm -hmm. a children's home. And we're going to find out about it. Because it's not just on paper. It's happening. In fact, it's launching on Saturday. Yes. Are those facts in accurate? Yes, Very accurate. indeed. Right. So we're going to align with Shadi a little bit. What kind of books will they get the books? Well, actually, mm -hmm. through corporate Trinidad mm -hmm. from Nigel Arakan mm -hmm. booksellers, uh, Sharon booksellers. Nigel! Yes. Yeah, so. Sharon! <laughs> that was my real peeps. Yeah. yeah. So thank God for corporate Trinidad that we got to um, sponsorship of the books and with so the help of corporate Trinidad cooperated with you. Yes, they did. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. So that's how we got the books and then Fence Marabella donated the bookshelf. So tell me, how did you determine which books? What is there? Did you do you have a mission with regard to what material you're giving these young people in their library or whatever they get? They get it. Of course, we had a mission because what we did was we sat down and spoke to the um, volunteer coordinator at the home and made sure that the books that we were getting for the children would be age appropriate, mm -hmm. that they would be able to understand and enjoy. So, you know, though, age appropriateness is one thing, but what about geographic appropriateness? I am kind of real hung up on ensuring that children growing up in our region have literature that has come out of the bowels of the region. So is there Caribbean books in there? Well, the thing is, is that that's a very valid issue because yeah. I can remember I grew up basically on a lot of foreign books, right? Yeah. And the thing is, is that when we, we got some sponsorship from Express and actually they, they donated two books to us, which, uh, which was written in Trinidad. Yeah. Uh, the thing is, is that what is important for children growing up in the Caribbean, particularly Trinidad, is that they have access to books that was basically composed in Trinidad. So they have a Caribbean feel and they understand where they're from. I mean, we grew up in a, in a society back then where, well, it actually still happens today, where, you know, we read a, a lot of books where people in, um, have snow yeah. and... Yeah. Summer. Yeah, summer. summer. <laughs> and, and, you know, it, it kind of embedded into us every so time we speak. the winter home. Exactly, yeah. and, and these things. Yeah. So it was imp that was a very um, important thing that we considered when we decided on the kind of books that we will be trying to get for these children. And we have been successfully getting very local books. How did you decide on the home that you'd assist with this project? Well, the thing is, um, we really, we started off with in Jamaica because that's where, that's where our campus is located. This is the Mona campus in Jamaica. Um, we decided that we really wanted to give back home, mm -hmm. right? To me, it is so important to remember where you come from. Yeah. It's also important to, you know, mm -hmm. to really focus on fixing home and making, trying to make home a better place for the children of tomorrow. Right. Um, and the thing is, we selected Takarigua, um, St. Mary's Children's uh -huh. Home. Um, I mean, really, actually, we saw a need to be met there. We mm -hmm. saw a problem there, and we committed to dealing with the issue and so far we are very happy with the results that we have been getting so far as a matter of fact yesterday um, I had I got a donation from two individuals um, and some books are, are two bags of books valued at over four hundred dollars yeah. are these new books brand, yes, brand new, new books. books the tag is the still quality there is the quality is intact. superb yeah. did St. Mary's home have a physical space or well, the thing is, is that they are currently under some renovations mm -hmm. and actually are embarking on some new, um, a, a new area to house some possibly more children as well as some new um, resources and an area mm -hmm. for them to play and work, sleep and do what children do on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. And um, so we already have the area prepared. So we're just really helping them and with providing this library, we really believe that it will, it's a start in the right direction in starting a new um, aspect of the home, the development of the home in the but right direction. the construction will that may have had to be done? I mean, you get the shelves and so on. Who's setting up? Who's doing that, that manual labor? Yeah. Well, <laughs> the thing is, is that we were happy at first that we got 
the shell, the book shelf itself donated 100% by Friends of Marbella. Yeah. Friends That was so... Yes, Friends of Marbella. And to me, that we got that book shelf since in January earlier this year. Yeah. And to me, that was just the start to, to everything right now. It was a really good start in the right direction yeah. for us. And with that being said, we already have the area. We got the bookshelf. We are collecting the books. We we well on our way. And Shadi and I will be yeah. going to the, the home tomorrow to meet mm. with some of the children. Again, we have yeah. been meeting them over and have over and over. Have a reading session with yes. them. Yeah. And it's just good. You realize that all the help you got mm -hmm. is from South and Central? <laughs> And East, Charan is a East. central family. Yeah, pretty but, much. Yeah. Um, yeah. Nigel <laughs> Arkan is mm. a south family. Yes, and yeah. Fen is from Marabella. That's right. It's just yeah. Bella Marabella <laughs> and Chagonas. Yes. yes. I'm just saying. Yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> that's, that's true. South. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, <clears throat> why a library? Why hard copies? Why? I mean, the age that these children. <clears throat> Are being prepared for mm -hmm. is an age of tablets and yes. and, and and content on the phones and so on. Mm -hmm. What was the value of this paper product that you're putting into the home? Yeah. Well, <coughs> our main goal is to really improve the learning environment for the children, and we're doing that through reading because we understand how important reading is for us. Like we grew up with books, and that was helpful in terms of writing your essays and so on. So we don't want to push them in the direction of only technology. We want to encourage them to go back to the book and, you know, read, take your time, read through it, and things like that. So and you, just, see, yeah. you see, the thing is that selecting a project like this isn't that, you know, let's jump up and just build a library for some random home or get some yeah. kind of support. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of research that went into this. And due to the fact that there's a need assessment gap to be filled at the home, which is the fact that books are not, pleasure reading books are not mm -hmm. available mm -hmm. at the home. We did a lot of research and we realized that when children are not given or they don't have access to books at an early age, it really sets them back academically yeah. in, in, their, in their pursuit for whatever career yeah. they choose. Yeah. So by really... Unless they're choosing robbery. Yeah. Well, and that we seems to be a popular that. thing these days. Yeah, but we nonetheless, yeah. we don't yeah. want that. Yeah. So we want to really try to bring about... We don't about want that to choose them. Right. Yeah. We want them to choose something of, mm -hmm. of good value yeah. and it that can is be a positive impact on society. And make sure that Tobago yeah. a better place. So it's Karim Mack? Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, that's the Korean department. Institute of Media and Communication. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> How many other trainees in that course at all? Well, well, and, actually, and what are some of the other projects that others may be doing? Could you share? Yeah, mm, sure. Right there are two campuses, so overall there might be like about 10 about or could be more depending on your specialization. Yeah. And other projects, people are doing uh, social etiquette courses, some beach doing beach cleanup as well. Beach cleanup, um, safety in terms so of driving. So it's really exciting. Well, <laughs> I believe so. It seems Thanks. so. And <laughs> it's really, really, and truly, we really chose this is that we have an opportunity to give back, back. to home. Yeah. That is so important is that a lot of people, they might leave, same with the potential as us to really achieve bigger and brighter education and whatever. Yeah. And they don't come back and give back home. And to me, that is really the problem. problem. And the thing is, yeah. the reason why we, we're not only here just to gain support for this program and to let the public know what's really happening, mm. yeah. is that what's, what is also important for us is that, <laughs> what is also important to us is that we're really trying to bring about social consciousness about ills in society yeah. and ways in which one person can help. Look, Shadi and I, we yeah. barely break our 20s. I'm yeah. only 21, Shadi, how old are you? 23. Right, yeah. so yeah. it's, I mean, and I just... see age on TV. <laughs> sure, why not? Because <laughs> I'm 23 also. Oh, wow. Sure, okay. <laughs> yes, so really and truly we're trying to bring about social conscientiousness about what's happening in society and some of the problems that yeah. is in this country that uh, average show like Shadi and I can can really us help and make because, this place a better place. Because in the end, everybody could make a difference. That's true. How small they could make an impact and help all these children. And uh, what step to? So you're in school. Yeah. You have high ideals. This is great. Nigel Arkan, Charan, Friends, my friends say, yeah, people, go yeah. try and do it. You finish school, you forget about St. Mary Charan, I go on to the next thing? <laughs> actually, no. So what's next? Yeah, because what's we were actually talking, and because we have, we have this great, you know, passion, we, passion. For, for humanitarian. Yeah. For now? No, no, no. What that we hope will continue, we're actually looking at ways 
how we could help them after mm. we finish our studies in May. Good. Yeah, actually, yeah. we even looked at one of the at the area where actually we're going to have the launch because mm. we had decided on an area before. And, you know, we changed mind for just to have a, a, a more open area. And we saw a fountain. I said, you know, let's really try and, and fix this fountain and have a really yeah. nice place for the strength yeah. to pass and look at. at yeah. We look at other, other ways, things. other like other buildings that they could benefit yeah. from. Yeah. Um, if, you know, so and we'll eventually we we'll branch off onto other stuff home because to me, really and truly, there's so much potential in this country. Yeah. And it's not, um, it doesn't only boil down to just um, the MP or the minister or the government doing things. Yes. It never thing, does. It never does, exactly. exactly. It, the, the onus is really a lot of times on the individual here, me, yeah. you, everyone here. Yeah. You know, it, it really boils down to that. And if they, by this we bring about maybe change one person or influence or inspire one person to do this. Let's go. That's yeah, this place could be a better yeah. place. Yeah. Well guys, <laughs> I, I like what I'm hearing. Thank and you. it is it goes to to show what I have a perennial battle with mm -hmm. where people always have negative things to say about the youth. That's right. Yeah. You know, it's mm -hmm. always something about the youth. Yeah. When in fact the youth in our country, the majority of them are involved in very meaningful, progressive endeavors. And here we have two examples of it right here. Mm -hmm. Sharing with you now. And it, it's time for us to start encouraging youth, you know, and, and, and reaching out a hand and, and doing things to assist them in what they want to do. Yeah, they might wear their pants below their bum seat, you know, <laughs> they like look stupid, you know, but that don't mean sure. that what is in their heart is banditry and robbery and that's, that's not that's the only true. thing in their hearts yeah. and not the only thing that they do, no matter how they look, you know, <laughs> but um, I just, you know, I really want to, to say well done and, and keep up what you're doing. So Thank what you. format is the launch going to take on Saturday? Your well, big day. Your big yeah. day. It's a huge Ta -ta! day. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's a big build up at this time. Um, we're just going to basically start off with just a word of prayer and, be, and have an overview. Mm -hmm. And we're actually in the stage of, um, kind of in the final stages of getting our guest speaker. We're hoping to be a minister. I won't say who it is as yet. Yeah. But um, we. You in the going good. <laughs> In just the Sorry. final stages. Um, <laughs> yes, in just the final stages, and we will have some refreshments as well, and we're also going to have a reading session with the children, one of many mm -hmm. with yeah. the children, because we'll be in Trinidad for about two weeks, after mm -hmm. which we go back to Jamaica to complete back our to final semester yes. of study. Uh, yeah. 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 is it? Yeah. May only then? That's yes. right. Yeah. yeah. How final. much years is it for? Three. Since 2009. Yeah. Yes, yes, it's September 2009. That's yes. right. What a okay, period. well, guys, nice having you. Thank you. Nice meeting you. Right. My friend, that's about it for today. Time to wrap it up. This is all on Sunset Trip for today, but tomorrow, God's willing, we'll be back with another installment of Sunset Trip. <laughs> Bye-bye. Take care.